always an adventure here in Studio <laughs> <laughs> We are live on the weather patio with oh Brock Fletcher with the selling team with Keller Williams Realty. And well, <laughs> it was fine a little while it ago. Was. And it then was. Uh, it kind of started to rain a lot. So yep. uh, I just did my hair and everything. <laughs> I so know. Was, the humidity. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. All right, so let's talk some real estate today. And actually, sure. the rain kind of goes along well with the theme that we're going to discuss today. Because yes. as we were talking with Darren and as everyone's talking about today, those storms this weekend and the storms the last couple of weeks have brought on a ton of rain. Yeah. What does that do when you're talking about disclosures and real estate? How does all of that work? Well, I can tell you there's a lot of wet basements yes. from the weekend. And, and really, um, so... Most people, when there's a, a lawsuit in a real estate transaction, it's, as a, it's a result of a failure to disclose something like water in the basement uh -huh. from a major rain event. So best advice I can give you is make sure you're 100% honest on a disclosure. Okay. There's people out there watching right now, unfortunately, that have gotten water in their basement. Maybe it's never happened before. Mm -hmm. When you go to sell, Think back to this moment you're watching television and think, Brock said, if I've ever had water in my basement, yep. you write it down, you explain what happened okay. and what you do, did to resolve it, but make sure you fill out those disclosures with total honesty and transparency. Now, so when you are filling those out, do you keep like a date? Because I know that years ago, our house had water issues just the one time, but do you need to like, you know, put the, the year that that happened with the details of how it happened? Yeah, really just if you have the year, that's fine. I mean, because okay. if it's 15 years ago, nobody remembers the month. But right. Even if you go back, oh, it was- July. Two, yeah, July <laughs> of, of, of 2005, yeah. you know, or whatever. That's completely fine. And then you put what happened and what you did to correct it and that there's been no problem since or whatever the truth is. Be honest. Okay. That's the key. Yeah. The other thing, too, that with this weather and the issues that a lot of houses are having right now is a lot of people, as you mentioned on the t show several times, people are foregoing those inspections because they want their offer to be the top offer yep. and they don't even want to have to mess with that. Well, this is a good learning experience. This is a learning experience. There's a, there's a time and a place sometimes to go without a home inspection, but also this is the kind of thing that can pop up if you do waive a home inspection and there's been a, a history of problems with rain and mm -hmm. uh, water in the basement, things of that. That's the double-edged sword of this market. Okay. So, you know, just know that when you buy a home without a home inspection, you're, you're accepting some of that risk. Now, if somebody lied on the disclosures, that's a whole different Right. issue okay. but when you waive a home inspection you're absorbing some liability okay. for sure all right so enough with the doom and gloom we've got that right now <laughs> sure. so let's talk about selling and some staging because yep. um it's a seller's market they're getting a lot of money but when it comes to staging a home there are there are some tips that they should be using right when it comes to staging certainly it just started raining a little <laughs> bit harder for a little us harder. <laughs> so um the big thing is the house has to be spick and span clean, uh -huh. right? The first step in staging is cleanliness. And then staging your furniture appropriately so that the pictures look fantastic. Now, I'll tell you the truth, there aren't a lot of professional companies that do here do that here in our area, mm -hmm. but that's a service that we provide to our clients. We tell them how to stage it in order for it to look, look the best that it can. And if it's necessary, and they need help, we'll make a suggestion to hire a professional to help them stage. Okay. Absolutely, yeah. So just just make sure that it's clean. Make sure that all it's all tidy and the, the, the pillows are matching and in perfect condition. That's right. right. You want it, it's just like selling a car. <laughs> you wash the car, you vacuum the car before yeah. you sell it. Right. Selling your house, it needs to be perfect. Yeah. In most cases, that means they're hiring it professionally clean. All right, no right? need to wash the car today because it's, no, it's getting you, washed. It's getting washed. Yeah. Yes. All right, so if people have some, you know, if they've got some questions, if they want to find out more, if they want to list their house or if they're looking to buy a house, how do they get in touch with you? Yeah, my cell number is the best. It's 517-303-3262. You can also just kayak over to my house. <laughs> 
and catch me live there too if you want. But the cell number will work just as well. Okay, and the cell one more time is? It's it's 517-303-3262. All right, or just paddle on over. Or just paddle on over to my house. Yeah. All right, well, thanks for braving the elements with me. <laughs> Next time will be better, I promise. Well, and if it's not, it will be fun. Exactly, so. all right, very good. Awesome. All right, well, stick around. We've got more fun coming up from the inside.